Hi guys, welcome to yet another episode of Microsoft ERP Beginners Tutorial Series. In the previous episode, we did review about automatic charge codes applied in the header level of the purchase order. And in this episode, we will discuss about applying an automatic charge codes to the line level of the purchase order. So the charge codes as in your handling fee or your insurance fee or your freight charges that you wanted to apply onto your purchase order. If you haven't watched my previous video, do watch and come back to this video so it makes more sense to you. So with that note, let's get started with the episode. Okay, in uh, some of our previous episodes, we have already created charge codes, the freight and the handling fee um, in the procurement module. Uh, the handling fee is configured to charge back to the vendor and uh, the freight charges are configured in a way that it will be uh, uh, billed to, uh, I mean, uh, paid to a third party uh, transportation company. Do watch my previous video for more uh, um, explanation about them. So we've already created the charge code. So in this episode, we will be using the charge code and configure a line level automatic charges. So for that, we already done with our charge code and we will be doing it for a group of item. Okay. So let me go ahead and create a item charge group to start with because I'm going to uh, set up the automatic charges for a specific vendor but for a group of item because I do not want to apply charges for every individual item. Maybe I want to group all the items which are having a similar handling fee together and uh, assign them to a item charge group. So let me first create an item charge group. So let's name the item charge group as spare part. So spare part item, save it and the second step is we need to assign this group to one of the item that we will be using in the purchase order. So let's get into the release product and pick an item and assign the item master with the uh, group that we have just created. So. Um, let me use the seat belt as one of the item for this example. Get into the item master, purchase section, edit the item. Under the purchase section, this is just for the purchase side of things. You need to allocate it in the purchase tab. If it is for the sales side, because even for the sales side, we have similar concepts. So we can, we need to, in such cases, get into the sales tab and apply the charge group. But let's apply it for the purchase side for now. So it's under the purchase tab, just save it. So that's the second setup that we need to do. And now the third one is setting up the automatic charges. So let's get into the automatic charges. And this was the automatic charges from the previous episode that we set up for the header level. And now we will be doing it for a li uh, line level. So let me delete it and uh, just change it to line and then click on new. Um, once you do that, you will see that the item tabs or section are enabled because for the header level, you would have noticed in the previous episode, they were disabled because the header level is only applicable for the header level of the purchase order. And this is applicable for the line level. So you can even mention a specific item line here. So um, uh, I'm going to choose it for a specific vendor. So let me choose the vendor as um, AGS and um, uh, maybe not AGS because it's already have a charge code from our previous episode. So let's apply uh, it to us, it to a wholesale part supplier and um, to the group of item. And we've already created a group and we've already assigned this group with one item. So, uh, so I want to choose this, this group and save it and you will get this line. And it's again going to be my handling fee. 
um, 10% in this case um, just save it okay so this automatic charges will only be applicable if I create a purchase order with this vendor and if the purchase order is having a item line which falls under this group okay so if you create a purchase order for another vendor or maybe for the same vendor but a item which is out of this group then the handling fee the charges won't apply for those specific lines okay so that is the meaning of this automatic charge rule so now let's save the rule and uh, get into the purchase get, get into the procurement and sourcing module and create a purchase order so the purchase order needs to be created for that vendor but but before uh, creating a purchase order um, let's not do the same mistake we did the last episode which is we forgot to turn on a parameter so let's first turn on a parameter which need without which the the automatic charges doesn't work which is again in the procurement and sourcing you would have guessed it by now those who watched the previous episode it is in the procurement and sourcing parameter under the price tab uh, you need to turn on the find automatic charges for lines parameter and save it so now let's go ahead and create a purchase order and test the scenario um, let's create a purchase order click on new button and we need to create the purchase order for that specific vendor so let me copy the vendor id and paste it here and that's the house let's say okay likewise we need to add the item with the specific group so I think uh, uh, the seat belt was the item that we used with the with the group uh, spare part. So I'm I'm choosing the same item. Save it. And this item is having hundred dollars. And let's um, now uh, see if uh, we have the charge code applied to the line level see we have the charge code automatically applied not to the header but directly to the line so you know you don't need to uh, manually do the allocation to a specific line it is completely automated and it will be applied automatically to your line okay but it will only be applied to those lines which are falling in the criteria of the automatic charge setup for example if I add another line which is not a part of a spare part group um, let's say that we are um, um, let me use uh, this item and this item is not a part of our group let me choose the item line and get into the uh, maintain charges section you will see that the charge code is not applied because for this item the charge codes are not applicable based on my existing setup it only applicable for the specific item in the group so that's about the line level automatic charges hope you enjoyed this episode thanks for watching this episode see you again in the next episode